everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited edition games video where I take a look at a limited edition physically released game, typically for the Nintendo Switch. And today we are back for my OG's limited run games, one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite, possibly. Um, basically, they put out all kinds of stuff for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and often a lot of other things. They've even done a Game Boy cartridge and stuff like that recently, so that's pretty cool. And if you want to check out Limited Run, I have a link in the description below. They put out stuff every Friday, occasionally other days. They also distribute other indie titles, but I'm sticking to the numbered stuff because, you know, money. And uh, <laughs> basically every uh, Friday, uh, yeah, every Friday at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., they do in two batches, so you have a chance to not miss out or get a second chance if you did or if you're sleeping or whatnot. They usually do collector's editions. Occasionally they don't. I don't know at this point. This is probably... This probably is a one that did not have a collector's edition. I have slowed down on buying collector's editions because the house is expensive and you can help with that with Patreon. We'll talk about that later. But we're gonna check out the game. We're gonna do a quick little let's play, see what we think about it and all that jazz. So there should be also a newsletter in here probably and a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A card, a collector's card that can be silver foil or gold foil. I'm trying to be very careful here because I didn't hide my address on the other side. So that's why if you see me being weird right now. Um, so <laughs> we'll see which card we get and all that kind of stuff. There we go. I opened up a hole. I can get in here. Also, I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to cut anything of, of importance. And uh, also, this was shipped to me. I'm way backlogged on my games right now. This was shipped to me on June 4th, which means I actually shot some of these out of order. So I may correct that. I may not. I don't know. But today we have a newsletter. We'll look at that at the end after the Let's Play. Oh, we have the game Real Mist. Okay. All right. Game number 63. We'll take a better look at that in a second. And then, of course, we have the collector's card. Oh, it has this uh, this version of the Limited Run logo on it. Okay. Interesting. Now, is it gold or silver? I do not know. We got silver. All right. I'll take it. Masterpiece Edition. But it is a nice silvery foil, so that's cool. And, yes, nothing else in the package, and I am confirming June 4th. So yeah, I shot something June 9th before this. So we're gonna take a look at this. Um, I guess there's a manual or something. We'll look at whatever at the end after the Let's Play. But here is the game that's very hard to see the art, especially in the plastic. We will, of course, take the plastic off and give you another look at this, but I do like being a completist for people that wanna see everything involved. So that's how I do. All right, let's get in here. Toss the plastic away. Now maybe you can see that, nope, the sun, nope. I have got to figure out a better lighting solution in the new TV studio. <laughs> Keep in mind, I shot a bunch of these at once too, so by the time you see this video, I may have figured out a solution. <laughs> All right, so yeah, in case you don't know, that's part of how I make so many YouTube videos. I shoot a whole bunch of stuff at a time and just kind of stay ahead of the curve there. This way with these, I just got to play the game later. So we'll look at the manual after the Let's Play. There is kind of art back there, but I, hi, I don't know how well you're going to see it, if at all. There is the cartridge. I guess maybe if I kind of slide it out, you can kind of see it a little bit better. I don't know anything about this game other than that it was very, very popular. If it's what I think it is, it might not even be the game I think it is. So, <laughs> But I'm kind of anxious to check it out, which we will do right now. All right, let's check us out some Mist, Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. Does it need an update? Uh, that is so unfortunate. Oh, well. Hopefully it's not a big update. Let's see. How long are we going to go? And I am, I am plugged in directly. Ugh, my Wi-Fi is on. I assume it's going through the Ethernet. I meant to turn my Wi-Fi back off. Uh, oh, that's right. Pfft. I don't have Ethernet plugged into the Switch. I have it plugged into my laptop. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's going... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to sit here and waste your time for five minutes. Uh... All right, well, you saw we started just before 5.59, so it started pretty much right at 5.59. We're only 10%. Uh, I should probably... I should probably just cut this part out. All right, I'll, I'll be back when the game starts. <laughs> okay, done here just about any minute. Looks like it took just five minutes. It actually did take five minutes. Okay. So, 6.04 p.m., what is it, the 22nd of November 2020 when I'm recording this gameplay... Uh, oh, did I not hit start? I've been playing a lot of PlayStation and Xbox. All the buttons are backwards again. I may have to pop up and change the volume too. Oh, I don't have that charged. I need to plug that in. My wireless mouse is dead. I need to charge it. 
Hopefully the volume's fine, so I don't have to lean over there and uh, do that, but we'll see. So, sky map. So, uh, Mist. I am vaguely familiar with it. Like, I remember hearing about it and stuff. People were raving about it back in the day as a PC game, I guess. Uh, I never played it. I don't really know anything about what I'm in for here. Cyan. Cyan Industries. That sounds like something that would create a robot uprising. It's pretty. That moon is not centered between those two letters in a way that bugs me. But, uh, oh yeah, that still sounds pretty. I don't know, that's probably... Well, I think the volume's all right. We'll find out as we go. Press A to begin. We'll do for like 20, 30 minutes, something like that in here. What happened? Did my controller... The moment I fell into the fissure, my controller turned off. As I <laughs> that is really loud. I gotta fix that. That's too much. Continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. That seems better. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Okay. So Still, is resistance. questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. I hope they're not going to show me all the credits before the game. Cause, okay, good, because I was like, uh-oh. Oh, uh, yeah, all right, so it's going to be one of these. Which makes sense. I mean, it's like an old point-and-click computer game. Graphics look decent. What else can I do? I, I feel like I wish this was the left stick. I'm just seeing if there's like a page turn. There's not. Um... Oh, triggers. Right, right, right. It's not a button, it's a trigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> so forgive me, I know a lot of people out there might have been missed players and they, they know what the hell is going on. Um, I don't. That is a load bar that is going very slowly. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to take another break. I'll be right back now. <laughs> No, we're, we're actually playing the game now. This you got to see, warts and all, what we're getting into. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now we can do the 99% thing and sit there for an hour. <laughs> it's not a knock on this game. It's just, you know. Okay. I imagine these graphics are much better than what they were in the day. So R is doing that. Oh, I can actually move with the left stick. So that's nice. Well, what does that do? Oh, I found a secret place. Let's go into the secret place. Any other buttons do anything? Oh, I got a flashlight. Uh, that's on Y. Okay. Uh-oh, why do I feel like we're, we're walking down to where the sacrifices happen? And why is the floor so perfectly lit, but not the walls? That's a strange design choice. Oh, there's a letter on the wall. Settings, dimensional imager, topographical extrusion test, marker switch diagram, water turbulent pool. Okay. Can I do something? Did I do something? I don't... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it just keeps... I don't know, maybe that's something I gotta do later. Oof. Trolls are really slippery in terms of, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Not, not, oh, I guess, yeah, okay, cool. A little bit worried there. Is like a sunken ship, or what's going on? So what am I doing? Okay, we got a switch. But how do I operate game? You want to tell me what we're doing here? Well, y'all. Oh, wait, there's a, something was like, 
I saw a grabby hand. Oh, here we go. All right, well, how do I... So maybe I was supposed to do that down there, too. I had it. I have to click on... Okay. What the foot? There we go. Oh, did I? Oh, shit. God damn it. What the hell? Ah. What did I do? Nothing? Well, maybe there was something to do down here. Oh, I should have paid attention. Okay, well, okay, so we're starting about, okay, I'll take a shave my, like, five minutes off of that. All right. Well, let's try this again. Now that I realize there's, like, grabbing controls and stuff. Hmm. No. Okay. Nothing happening there. I mean, I want to like this game, but something's going to have to happen at some point. I mean, granted, I'm just barely into it, so... So that switch is still flipped. And what's up here? Since this is the closer stairs. Oh, we got another switch. That I do know how to operate. Sort of. Ah, shit. Right. Everything being on the right stick is throwing me the hell off. And then I gotta... And then do that. Push it all the way. It did nothing. There's a whole thing right here. You okay? Looks pretty. Looks pretty plays shitty. Am I right? No, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't mean that. I just wanted to say it because it was a dumb rhyme. Is it just a game where we go around switching, hitting all the switches? Okay. When I turn the lights off, can I? What the fucking hell is this thing? Shit. Nope. Nope. I didn't mean to get out of the chair. Good thing it's not VR. I assume I push buttons? Oh, I'm setting the date. Like, for real? All right, well, hold on. We know the date. Wait, what? Where the fuck is... Oh, I'm just going the opposite direction. November... Oops. 20 second. What is this? Is that not supposed to be the year? I'm going to say 020. And... What time is it? It's 613. Whoops. That's the year. Oh, can I actually do that? Oh, that's so much helpfuler. Helpful alert. Sure, and then, uh... Oh, fuck. It's whatever it is. That's fine. Let's see if anything else actually... I mean, hopefully it's not just a calendar simulator. That book is burned. Put it away. How do I put it... Way. Like that. Okay. Stone Age ship? Maybe? 
Damn it. Come on. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to the nearby rocks as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world, and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them through the sun always shone. It was never... By the way, I'm reading it as if I've been asked to read in front of the class in, like, high school. Oh, my God. What is this? Hold on. I'm not reading an entire fucking book. Jesus. Seriously? Holy... I don't... What? All right. Yeah, I'm beginning to believe this is not a game for me. Don't want your burn damn book. I want the damn other good books. What's this one down here? Let's try that. Ugh, trolls are tricky. <sighs> yeah, I don't care. There's just going to be a whole bunch more. Okay, here's something. Tower rotation. What is this? Okay. There's a piece of paper. Maybe this is like just a few sentences. Oh, you put it in the book. I guess I did a thing. Oh. Huh? Who are you? Blue pages. Are we done yet? Cool, bro. Cool story, bro. Okay, then. What is all this? Ah, so those are definitely puzzle switches. And that's a replica of the sunken ship out in the water. There's a damn clock. There's another damn switch. I'm just turning all the switches. Cause that's what I do. I push buttons. Oh, God damn it. Well, this is terribly exciting. Castle Freak? Is Castle Freak down here? Oh. Push the buttons? Oops. Maybe we can make something blow up?
How do you re- Okay, everything's back at zero. Do I have to go hit it? I don't know. Oh. Sounds like it just reset. Oh, no, it's just all the lights turning off. All right. Damn, we haul ass. Okay. Sure. We've done pushed another one. What are you? PSI. I see that's doing oh so much. Hey, hello, switches. Um, it's one, two, three, four, isn't it? God damn it. God damn it. So that's a safe. But it's still safe because I don't know how to get into it. I don't have no codes. <sighs> I guess I want to change that for the tide. Can I just go in the water? Nope. That's where I just was. Here's somewhere we haven't checked. The hell? What is this game? What are we doing? Key. So clearly a puzzle solver with lots of puzzles. Oh, I guess we didn't go out this way. Hmm. Oh, there's maybe a clue on that wall back there. I'll have to actually click on it. Sorry, I'm just used to, you know, games. All right, well, that's not going to do me any good because electricity is not flying through there. Oh, that's just foliage. Yeah, that's just foliage. Poop. Cool that I have a rocket, I guess. So am I trying to power my rocket to get off here? I mean, that seems what it's like. Because then that power line runs all the way down through here into those generators. So those generators. Ah, all right. Do we have more power lines coming out of there? No. Well, I guess we need to go back to the beginning and see if there were some clues. I bet it's all in those books that I refuse to read. Because that's just too damn much. I may not have a choice. I don't know. This may be one of my worst Let's Plays ever just because... I don't know what the hell to do here. Oh, man. We're already like 20 minutes into the Let's Play, too. Shit. I kind of want to quit here, but I also kind of feel like I ought to give y'all something worth a damn. What about these? No. Music is like so chill. 
Uh, make sure none of these are actually pathways, I suppose. Uh, I guess we can go look around the library a little bit more. Maybe there was a book that wasn't like eight, pa <coughs> eight pages long. <coughs> Excuse me. Was this the library? No. That's the weird ass date machine. Oh, what is this? Okay. What's this book? We didn't look at that book. Oh, there's a cog. Oh my God. Seriously? Sorry, Mary's like grocery shopping stuff, so I just need to make sure she doesn't need answers from me. Uh, I don't have time to look at... I'm, I'm in the middle of the game. She'll have to wait. That's not a, that's not a time question. <clears throat> she's sending me... She's finding like recipes in the grocery store. And it sounds good, but it's like, I'm, I'm, play, I'm making videos. You know that. Anyways. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Jesus, man. Should I care? Maybe I should go back to that other book. It seemed to have... Things of interest. There's a gear room. Yeah, it sounds like to get any f anywhere in this, you have to like read all of this shit. Which is not what I call fun. The enemy is due to come soon. I, I, I think I could see why this might be so beloved of, it, of its era. But man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having any kind of fun. <sighs> Soundtracks put me to sleep too. While I'm trying to read. Hmm. Got like unlocked pages, I guess, or locked pages, I guess. Okay. All kinds of information around here. None of it's really helping me at the moment. Are we able to look at that book ever? Uh, it's it's a, not really the first book. Because it started with the dots, I guess? <sighs> Multiple colors. And that book was just dude screaming at me. Oh, I didn't see these. Ah, shit. Oh, good. Who are you? I don't know. Not every game is for every person, y'all. And I just think this one's just not going to be for me. I don't have the patience to play a game like this. Oh, I feel like I need a nap. Cool story, bro. Well, shit. Was it this one then that started? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute, can I not go back on pages? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so those are the emblems. Okay, so those are, are, correlate to constellations. Bird's eye view, stone ship age. So, I'm. Um, is this where we are right now? Uh, I don't think so. 
I don't remember seeing a lighthouse. Yeah, it also has the dots. Okay. Let me get in. Channel wood. Let's sit. I don't know. I was hoping maybe to do something. Ugh. It's too damn relaxing. It's put me to sleep. this again. Let me look at that again. Tower rotation. I don't know that that really helps me at all. So yeah, these are all const... No, those are not the constellations I saw in the book. Anchor... Well, maybe they are the constellations I saw in the book. What happens if we just start pushing some? I don't know. I know I'm about ready for some dinner. Did that do a thing? It did no such thing. Well, sorry everybody for one of my uh, worst Let's Plays ever, because... Like, what the hell? I don't know that I really have anything else here. And we've almost played for half an hour. <laughs> It's really been half an hour, and I haven't been able to figure out even the slightest thing to do in this game? That's unfortunate. I'm gonna do this one more time for no good reason. Yep, that made it work, didn't it? All right, well. Yeah, okay. Wait. No, that is the library. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a minute, is there a second library? Anything back here that matters? Nah. You're way up to the observation thing. Nope. And I guess we will end this where we started because I don't know what the hell else to do. Okay, well, sorry, <clears throat> but there you go. That's real mist, I suppose. I'm sure I'll hear about it in comments, maybe, or, you know, I don't know. I'll go watch some videos later and figure it out. Maybe this is something I could love in the future, but all it did is make me sleepy and bored, so. But, I mean, I'm sure that I'm not blaming the game. That's just player error, I assume. All right, well, anyways, let's go back to that unboxing. What do you think about this? Comment below. Alright, so hopefully that was a fun game, hopefully it was a fun Let's Play, and if you like that Let's Play and you want more of them, you need to check out my Patreon. 
It's $1 a month and you're gonna get an extra video every single day. And right now, five of those are like hour long Let's Play videos for different games. Plus you get food vlogs, movie reviews, a whole lot more. And you can really help out the house and help keep these kind of videos coming for just a dollar a month. If you want, no worries, no pressure. Just like to let you know it's there. You can look up the Eric Butts or you can use the link in the description below. But now back to this, let's take a look at this and then we'll try to show off the newsletter. Even though I have shown it in another video, but you never know who's seen what. I'll try to go slow enough you can pause if you do want to read all of this. This is an instruction manual because it is actually showing you how to play the game. And you got a hint section and uh, notes, all right. Nice, nice, nice. And that is that part of everything. So very, very cool. Now let's take a look at this newsletter and I'll try to do this. I have my camera a little tight, so we'll try to roll slow here. So if you do want to check it out, you can hit pause and read all the stuff. Now keep in mind, this was shipped out in June. I'm filming in October. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of, kind of behind. But we'll go a little slow. Try to give you a place to kind of pause and see everything as best I can. I mean, if you're super picky about it, then, you know, order your own game so you can <laughs> get your own copy. I just, well, I mean, serious, but I am just having a little fun with y'all. I've shot a lot of these and I haven't quite finished my daily coffee. So I've just been in a very productive place today. Okay. And you got that and that. And voila, there you have it. There is my unboxing of Limited Run Games Relation, release of Real Mist, the Masterpiece Edition. What, let me know, what do you think? Have you played this game? Do you like this game? Are you gonna grab it digitally on the eShop or did you get a physical version? And if you got the physical version, what's your favorite element of it? Let me know all of these things. I love to hear what you have to say, so let me hear it in the comments below. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button, give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And check out the Patreon by looking up the Eric Butts using the links in the description below. Now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go finish my coffee and open up some more stuff. And I'll see you all later.